Hey you guys, welcome back. What's up? Check this out. I've uh, come up with a little hack on how to uh, make putting together a puzzle a little easier for uh, maybe your elderly parents or you have some young kids who like doing puzzles but they, uh, they want to do one that's just maybe a little over their skill level, has a lot of pieces. And uh, so here's an idea that I've come up with. It takes a 500 piece puzzle. It's going to break it down into five 100 piece sections. So, first, you're going to need uh, some, uh, I don't know, maybe you could use cardboard or something. But what I have found a couple of pieces of plexiglass, 16 by 20. And uh, I used a couple of file folders to uh, gently slide the puzzle onto the plexiglass. And the only downside about this hack is that somebody needs to put together the puzzle the first time. And uh, so maybe you can do that for them. Then uh, once you've got a position onto your uh, plexiglass, take some tape and uh, tape the two pieces together, sandwiching the puzzle in between the two pieces of plexiglass so that your puzzle won't come apart. And... Uh, just keep going around all of the sides so you got it nicely secure in there. And when you have that done, just simply flip it over to its backside and uh, remove the tape and peel it off. Or if you have a little knife or scissors or something, just cut along the edges and get the tape off. So here we go. When that step is complete, you're going to want to find yourself some sort of straight edge and you're going to need some uh, permanent markers, some different colors. However many sections you want to break it into, that's how many colors you're going to need. So what I'm doing right now is I've I'm making little marks. I'm measuring it out three inches from the bottom. And then I move up another three inches. Make my marks there. And it turned out it's a... I came up with, a, I think, five sections. So... And now I found... A, looked around the house. I came up with a Monopoly board. It worked out perfectly as a straight edge. So I just go ahead and make a line connecting all my my marks that I have measured out earlier and now that that's completed I just get some permanent markers and different colors and color in each section can take a little while to do it but once it's done, you can reuse this puzzle and give it to uh, whoever you want. You know, some younger kids and stuff going to have a good time with this. This works out. So there you go. A little rainbow color. And I made myself a little cheat sheet right there. And... Here you can see all the different stripes. Do the same technique. Sandwiches it in between the plexiglass. I didn't even, doesn't even look like I taped it. This time now you got your different sections. The bottom, middle, a couple of middle ones and a top. Now here's another cool idea. I took the little piece of paper that they came with the puzzle brought it to a copy shop and had them enlarge it for me. So if they have poor eyesight, that will be very helpful. Help them out. Hopefully you found this uh, video enjoyable. Give me a thumbs up and a like if uh, you found this helpful. Thanks. Bye.